morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold opened up 37 bucks, crossing 1700 already in the New York trade. What we will see happening today, as we've indicated to you for some time, is we're going to see gold continue to go up. Uh, you've been belabored left and right with what's going on with S&P and what's going on with downgrades. We're looking for the Dow to trade down below 10,600. So we encourage you to be <clears throat> buying OEX puts. You should be uh, buying VIX calls. You should be doing things that play into the volatility of the day's market and the days coming ahead. The only thing we know for sure about governments, whether our own or others, is they're completely self-serving about what the truth is. And so what will happen is you'll hear continual manipulations of the truth. Here's the problem. The problem is we spend way too much money, and we've got to make reductions. And when we do that, everything will be hunky-dory. Until we do that, things are not going to work out great. That's a fact. So what we do at Waters Capital is we encourage you to aim for the trouble spots. Accept that as reality and adjust your investment plan accordingly. We had a couple of calls from people who've lost tremendous amounts of money in what they thought is their safe stock portfolios. This is not surprising to us. Nobody's making any money in the economy. When I say nobody, I mean no human beings. Okay, the tiny ruling elite power class is profiting. But the fact of the matter is, the regular middle class worker, the small business owner, are all suffering. When that changes, the U.S. economy will get better. Now, as you know, I've always thought there should have been a public works program. I still believe there should be a public works program. We can do all the fine-tuning we want economically. We're not going to get a moving forward economy. And when I say we need to cut spending, I mean we need to cut spending on stuff where Americans lose their lives every day. We need to stop spending billions of dollars and get Americans out of Afghanistan and Iraq and any other place where we're not welcome. Let's repatriate that money. Let's build our own infrastructure. Now, it's tragic what's happened with the Chinese with the high-speed rail because they've tried to do things on the quick and on the cheap. But the reality is the idea is a good one. High-speed rail, Seattle to Los Angeles, Boston to Washington, Washington to Atlanta. What's wrong with that? It's a good thing. It gets cars off the roads. Everywhere else in the world, people seem to realize that trains are good. And I'm not against cars, but I'm saying that what we need to do is do some things. Let's take that defense cut and put it into getting people to work. Real people, not bioengineers. So this is Arnie Waters. Sorry to get carried away about this. You know, we stand for gold, and gold is at parity nearly with platinum. We remind you you want to stay in gold because it's a much wider market than platinum is. But... Give yourself a chance. You know, enjoy the day. The market's going to go down. It's probably going to go down for a few more days. The people in Washington don't understand the marketplace because they all have jobs. They don't understand what's going on because they all have jobs and all their friends have jobs. When they get out to the rest of the country where people's brothers-in-law, people's cousins, and people's kids, kids, 25-year-old kids with college degrees can't get, can't get jobs, that's why the economy is shrinking. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Load up on gold. Continue to hold your Molly Corp. And uh, watch uranium move in the next two months. Have a great day.